Phantom weight action coming up here as Cameron Chamberlain and Adam Gomez make their respective professional debuts here. Both no strangers to the UK scene, Chris. And here we go in what might be the most scintillating matchup of the night. Yeah, so far, the, I mean, to be fair, they, they, not just the UK scene, but to each other, they've, they've fought each other at amateur. Um, I think Chamberlain came out the victor on that occasion. Um, but like you say, now they've swi switched the uh, eight ounce gloves to the fours and uh, both making the debuts against each other. But really excited to see what happens. Yeah, that's correct. Gomez actually uh, was beaten by Ch Cameron Chamberlain last time round by second round rear naked choke on the local scene. Yeah, lovely quick feet from Chamberlain on that occasion. Yeah, hunks he's the always, high. Yeah, always hunk very dynamic with his feet, is Chamberlain. Yeah, hunks the high kick comes off the arm of Gomez and then sort of pops backwards looking for the left high kick that time. Yeah, he's really starting to piece it together now at uh, SPG Rochdale. He's okay. been all over the place for a number of years as Chamberlain but he's really uh, found a home now and found a good camp. And in his defence, and he'll, he'll openly put his hands up about it, initially he was very much self-taught. They were just a group of, of, of mates who trained with each other. Yeah. And to be fair, he, he didn't do too badly. Yeah. So now that he's found a home in the gym, he's, he's obviously a former uh, amateur bantamweight contender here on Budo. So he had a great five-round war with Darius Maffey a few years ago. Yep. And uh, I was just going to say before the uh, before he shot in, I wonder how long it's going to be before Gomez hunts for a takedown. He does a lot of his good work in top position. But uh, Chamberlain's no slouch off his back, Harry. So it'll be interesting not. to see what happens, especially with all of the added rule sets, the elbows, the heel hooks and so on, yes, from both guys. It's a much different game now at uh, the profession, in the professional rankings. With the addition of elbows and knees, of course. And I don't know if this is part of the game plan from Gomez, because he's quite content to stay heavy on top of Chamberlain here against the fence and just knee the legs now. As you said, he's got very unorthodox movement, but he does love his footwork is, uh, ooh, I don't know if that was yeah, Lola. Just in the cup area there, in the meat and potatoes, but so Chamberlain if, ready to go. I don't know if it's a wily move from Gomez, just try and slow him down a little bit and then look to do the damage mm -hmm. either later on in the first round or, late, or in the later rounds. Gomez visible, I'm well, not happy, doesn't think he, uh, he was low on that occasion. Gomez, uh, not Gomez, sorry, Chamberlain just giving him a count. Allowed five minutes for an accidental nut shot. Our referee, Alan Howcroft, just having a few words and we'll be back on the way. Switch of stance from Chamberlain. Quite loose on his feet, happy yeah. to stay on the outside is Gomez. Big flurry though from Adam Gomez there, puts Chamberlain back against the fence where they left off. Yeah, lovely one two on the entry. Now he's got the, I think he's got a full body. Oh, lovely throw from Chamberlain. And Gomez doing very, very well to recover half guard. Yeah, good attempt at Anucci Martin there from Chamberlain to get Gomez onto his back. Gomez immediately where... looking to get up, doing the right thing, putting his back against the cage. Flurry, he's got the neck, he does has it? the neck here, does Chamberlain. Not sure if it's completely on here, but the referee's on top of it. This would... Gomez is grimacing. Yeah. He looks like, I don't know if he's just breathing heavy, he's, he's looking to fight the elbow. I mean, I can't see what the grip's like, but I would be personally trying to fight the Very grip. Very no, nice utilisation of the elbows in the inside from Chamberlain there again to get back into the rear naked choke position. He's trying to sit into it, is Gomez. Now, if he can turn his head in, he's going to break the choke, but he's, I was going to say he's going to open himself up to a few more shots. Yeah, Cha Chamberlain in a good spot here, Harry. Yeah, Chamberlain's really trying to time with the shots to open up... Uh, the opportunity to, to, to get back under that neck. This yeah. would be your second rear naked choke victory over Gomez as well. Yeah, Gomez trying to do both things at once, so he's trying to 
trying to uh, risk control on the left hand side and, and uh, put the blocker on the right. And you can see how much he's been practicing the elbows there, Chamberlain. He's been using them very, very well. Not just sticking to his fist, now utilizing the elbows for the first time in his pro career. And you can hear the corner team, you can hear Kev Fryer, Steve Hewitt screaming, get you back to the cage. Now, can he get the single out of this? He needs to be careful. Does Chamberlain, he's not going to lose the position, and now he's hunting the guillotine. Yeah, deadly in his submissions. He's been doing a lot of submission grappling. Jiu-Jitsu competitions as of late, working on his overall game with and, Chamberlain. And now he's hunting the take. Oh, big oh, elbow big from Gomez! Elbow drops him there for a second from Gomez. Just momentarily just lost his, his senses, fell to his knees. And as he recovered... Oh, he's throwing them again. Good takedown from Chamberlain. Very nice reaction. Good timing to get that takedown when he most needed it as well. Full Chris. mount. Straight into full mount as well. Went into side control fairly easily. Gomez Kicked going to have to watch, his, uh, watch his, his movements very carefully here. Don't know if Gomez is attempting to hold on. However, he's looking for a, a high Ezekiel choke. Big hammer fist and he's got the rear naked choke. And he's squeezing. Is Cameron Chamberlain, the corner but with, with the clacking though to go, the who knows how close. Oh, I was going to say, the corner teams are waiting to Ooh. go in. How, how long can he, has he got? Gomez is fuming. A very, very close call at the end of that first round then. And for the first time tonight, we go to the second round, Chris. Oh, so close. Very impressive from Chamberlain thus far though. Yeah. Gomez just not got a foothold in this contest yet. Yeah, utilise them elbows in the final minute to drop Chamberlain for just a second. But it, outside of that, it has all been Cameron Chamberlain. Yeah, big opening round for the Rochdale man. You know, with, with such like a mixed uh, record, 6 and 10 at amateur, it shows that now when he's able to put it together, that plethora of experience that that's, he's got. That's it, you have a look at some of the guys that he fought and some of the wins. Um, on the last show in Blackpool, we had the Alistair Fitzharris fight in a title contender fight for, uh, with Julian Renault who's going to fight for the title tomorrow Chamberlain beat him um, who did he beat en route to I can't remember who he beat but he, he's not got his gum shield he um, I can't remember now because it's my Alzheimer's <laughs> but he um, he won his, uh, his, his title contender his own title contender fight uh, and ended up having a five round war with Darius Matthews now yep. competing all over the world as a pro PFL the lot so yep. He's been in there with some absolute killers, and I've, I don't think I've ever seen him not compete. Yeah, he was never in a boring fight, that's for sure. A veteran of seven remarkable Budos for Chamberlain and Gomez here, circling around. And now the trading hands for the first time, and Gomez looking more comfortable on the feet here. Yeah, it's funny you should say that, you know. I'd like to see now who's had the most appearances on Budo, and it might actually be Cameron Chamberlain. <laughs> I wouldn't actually know, I'd have to look back. But like you say, good one-two on the entry from Gomez, looking to try and hit the switch. And Chamberlain's going deep on a single. But Gomez going cross-face. Might actually get it here. Gomez has let it go, he's, he's sat into it, which is probably the right thing to do. But I was going to say, if he pulls the hip forward, chances are he's going to pin you against the cage. And, well, it's, it's unfolding here. Veteran advice to have straight down your ear from a man like Jack Cartwright for Chamberlain. Yeah, former world champion Jack Cartwright. He's going to make his uh, entry back into the pro ranks in the near future, so look out for that one. Bolton's own world champion. Gomez now, well, Cameron Chamberlain just hunting. Yeah, remaining his, patient. Yeah, hunting his shots but picking them wisely. Oh, it looks like he's, he's got, got the guillotine he's here. He's sat in for a... Sh has he got the short... I can't I see the grip from work now. Gomez is out. Gomez remaining very, very aware. But still taking some shots as he tries to improve his position. Oh, big elbows! Gomez needs, he needs to... Yeah, I was going to say he needs to watch his hips. Gomez, uh, not Gomez, sorry. Chamberlain immediately looking to pass. Goes to half guard. Trying to get oh, into side cut, control. Cut has opened on the right eye. Bleeding into the division now of Gomez. And he's gone for a 
a calf slicer it seems yeah he was gone for a calf slicer as Cameron Chamberlain really now mixing then. it up here now then Gomez on top with a little over probably two minutes in this round let's see what he can do he's hunting a guillotine of his own Chamberlain needs to watch his neck as he's getting up here, does the right thing. Oh, it's a half-assed attempt from Gomez. A topsy-turny contest we've got here in the second round of this bantamweight professional debut for both scrappers. And he's gone for the choke here. Yeah, Doesn't look like he's yeah. got the strongest of positions, or does Chamberlain. But them elbows continuing to pour. He's just draining the life out of Adam Gomez here. That's what I think he's gone for the half Nelson here. I don't even think he's just attempt. I think he's just trying to make breathing as difficult as possible. Gomez is taking some big deep breaths here. I just love how nonchalant on our screen is. You can see here Jack Catwright. Put this there, do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chamberlain is reciprocating all that yeah. advice at the moment. He looks very, very good here. Just guiding him through it as he lands back in full mount and the elbows and the shots. The punches in, bunches rain down, and he rolls out of it again. Gomez is trying to get up here, yeah. but Chamberlain is just relentless. Now he's pulled him onto his back. It's not usually a good sign when you're quite happy to give up the back and roll through into this position because your defence is very limited, especially if your opponent gets the body triangle, which he has now done, Chamberlain. He's let it go, though. Man handles Gomez down onto his back. Very fun contest here in Turton Sports Centre in Bolton, the home of Budo in the UK. Oh, when he gets the tap there with the with the arm triangle out of nowhere, the submissions were, were coming in bunches, a plethora of them from Chamberlain, and he moves to 1-0. With a very, 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 very impressive victory. Yeah, very, very impressive win there. Gets the arm triangle out of nowhere. It was hard to see from our position. But he managed to sneak, the, sneak it in there to move and get his first professional victory. Maybe the start of a new chapter. A very, very impressive start to a new chapter for Cameron Chamberlain. And a Adam, very, very, very happy coach. Yeah. Our team. Adam Gomez, a reluctant, a, a valiant uh, performance put in by him to try and combat all the uh, the submission attempts and just the, the attacks that was coming his way, but eventually he just succumbed to the pressure, Chris. Yeah, very, very impressive from Chamberlain. Uh, and uh, RMC Safe Khan is going to announce he is now one and all. High distance into the cage, please. High distance into the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 54 seconds in the second round, our referee, Mr. Alan Howard, of course, is off to the fight. Declaring your winner by head arm triangle, Cameron Chamberlain. Please show your appreciation for Ivan Dolmets. A big congratulations to Cameron Chamberlain there, who sets off his professional career, 1-0. And uh, don't go anywhere. Because we'll be back in just 10 minutes' time with Joffy Holton taking on Oliver Bassel.